Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face while you're sleeping. For decades, the Atlantic Ocean's notorious Bermuda Triangle has captured the human imagination with unexplained disappearances of ships, planes, and people. And now, recent reports claim that scientists have finally gotten to the bottom of it. In today's video of the Bermuda Triangle Mystery Solved Scientist Claim, let's find out what it is that has fascinated the human race for ages. The image you can see before you is a screen grab taken from a video that seems to be depicting the Bermuda Triangle. The Bermuda Triangle is an infamous 500,000 kilometer square region in the Atlantic Ocean that is approximately enclosed by Bermuda, Puerto Rico, and Miami, and is the site where countless ships, airplanes, and around a thousand people have been lost. Sailors and pilots become really nervous at the thought of traveling over the Bermuda Triangle, and they can't be blamed for their hesitancy. This region has become a grave for countless lives and forms of transport, and the fascination with it has only increased with each passing decade. Here are some of the most popular theories regarding the mystery that surrounds it. One popular theory is that methane gas is responsible for bringing ships and planes to their watery graves in the Triangle. Evidence has been found of pretty large amounts of methane gas existing in certain spots in the ocean floor. This can lead to a formation of a gas ice sediment mix under high pressure. If an underwater landslide occurs, this toxic mixture can burst out from the sea floor, entering the atmosphere and can either intoxicate pilots or change the density of the surrounding air and interfere with regular piloting. And it could potentially happen without warning in a matter of seconds that would leave no time for those on board to radio for help or evacuate the ship. Such blasts have been known to damage offshore oil rigs, which means that they could play a role in at least some of the more mysterious disappearances. It's not likely that scientists will be able to tell with much certainty until the ocean floor is mapped in greater detail. Some also speculate that unknown and mysterious forces are the culprit, such as extraterrestrials that are capturing humans for study, whilst some say that there is the influence of the lost continent of Atlantis that has resulted in vortices that sunk objects into other dimensions and other such insane ideas. At the same time, there are other explanations that are more rooted in science, despite the lack of evidence. It's been a mystery that has confounded scientists for years, but at last, scientists believe they may finally know what the mystery behind it is. After an investigation that has lasted decades, they have concluded that ships are being sucked into the ocean by rogue waves that are allegedly over 30 meters in height. Now, it goes without saying that you must be wondering what rogue waves are. Rogue waves are often referred to as extreme storm waves when spoken about in relation to science. These waves can reach a height of up to 30 meters and are very spontaneous. Rogue waves were first observed in 1997 by a satellite off the coast of South Africa. The waves are more than twice the size of surrounding waves and are very unpredictable and often come unexpectedly from any direction. Researchers reconstructed the monster water waves through the help of indoor simulations. The research team built a model of the USS Cyclops, which strangely disappeared in 1918 and resulted in 300 lives being lost. The disappearance of the USS Cyclops resulted in one of the largest events of lives lost in the history of the United States Navy in one take. In March of 1918, this gigantic ship set out to sail from Brazil to Baltimore and was carrying a load of 10,800 tons of manganese ore with about 309 crew members on board. The day it set off, the weather was as perfect as it could be and the first and only message sent by the ship did not indicate any trouble. However, the ship was never heard from again. The entire area was thoroughly searched but nothing was ever found. No remains of the ship or any crew members aboard have ever been located. The captain of the ship sent no distress signal and no one on board ever replied to radio calls from other vessels in the area. The naval investigators also could not find an exact cause for its disappearance, although there were a number of theories that were put forward. 
Due to its unexplained disappearance, the Cyclops has joined the list of more than 100 ships and planes that have disappeared under mysterious circumstances in the Bermuda Triangle. In the region where the Bermuda Triangle is located, three massive storms can be seen drifting together from various directions, and this happens to be the perfect condition for a rogue wave. A scientist was quoted as saying that such waves were highly capable of snapping the Cyclops in two. He also claimed there was a very simple explanation for the missing planes and vessels in the Bermuda Triangle, and that it was that the weather was terrible and 15-meter waves had formed. Also, he said that the Bermuda Triangle, which is one of the most heavily regulated parts of any ocean, doesn't actually experience an unnaturally high rate of disappearances. It is alleged that the number of planes that go missing in the Bermuda Triangle is the same as anywhere in the world, based on percentage. These reports and claims go hand in hand with another popular theory that a lot of Bermuda naysayers believe in. And that is that environmental factors could have contributed to a lot of, if not most, of the disappearances. Most of the tropical storms and hurricanes passed through the Bermuda Triangle and back in the day, when weather forecasting was not as developed, these deadly storms resulted in the loss of many ships due to rapid, oftentimes violent, changes in weather. In addition to this, the large quantity of islands in the Caribbean Sea results in loads of sections of shallow water that can be misleading to ship navigation. The U.S. Navy and U.S. Coast Guard have always stood their ground in that there are no supernatural reasons behind the mysteries at sea. The ocean has always been a largely unknown territory to humans, and when bad weather or terrible navigation is at play, it can be a very dangerous place indeed. And this stands true for anywhere in the world. Having said all of that, is the Bermuda Triangle really real? Well, it truly depends on who you ask. Before we accept or believe in any of these explanations, a good skeptic or a smart person would ask a simpler question. Is there really any mystery to explain? A journalist named Larry Cush asked exactly that question and came to a surprising answer. There is no mystery about strange disappearances in the Bermuda Triangle. He exhaustively re-examined the mysterious disappearances and found that the story was basically created by mistake, mystery mongering, and in some cases, outright fabrication all being passed along as fact-checked truth. He noted that few writers on the topic bothered to do any real investigation. They mostly collected and repeated other, earlier writers who did the same. They did not carry over into credible research. In fact, he said that they were riddled with errors, mistakes, and unscientific theories. In a way, the Bermuda Triangle is largely a creation of people's misconceptions and mistakes. In some cases, there's no record of the ships and planes claimed to have been lost in the aquatic triangular graveyard. They never existed outside of a writer's imagination. In other cases, the ships and planes were real enough, but people have failed to mention that they mysteriously disappeared during bad storms. Other times, the vessel sank far outside the Bermuda Triangle. These claims are also pretty much in tune with what the U.S. Coast Guard has put out. They allege that if the Bermuda Triangle really is the danger zone it's put out to be, and again, the evidence supposedly suggests it's not, there are plenty of rational reasons why aircraft and seaborne vessels would disappear over certain parts of the ocean. We do think it's worth mentioning that when these reports came out, there were a lot of criticisms. And when we say a lot, we mean it. To a lot of people, it just seems like any other baseless conspiracy theory that has been floating around. And to be completely honest, I get the skepticism. Every few years, a story goes viral, claiming that experts have finally solved the Bermuda Triangle mystery. All the conspiracy theorists, disbelievers, banded together to say that the Bermuda Triangle doesn't actually exist, and there is no mystery to solve. And that, despite what you might have heard, there are actually no real unexplained plane crashes or shipwrecks in the area. The main point they keep reiterating is that no one had actually fact-checked the claims of boats and planes going missing in the first place, which, I mean, clearly goes against all the disappearances that have been recorded. Despite the fact that the Bermuda Triangle has been consistently debunked for decades, it still appears to be an unsolved mystery, and perhaps will hold that title for many more decades to come. 
Well, that concludes the end of this mysterious video. Let us know in the comment section below what your take on the topic is. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that bell icon.